Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship at Well of Hope LCA in Castle Rock, Colorado. So happy that you guys can be with us. Um, extra points to those of you who are here in person on a snowy day. Um, I really appreciate you coming out in the snow and um, being here to worship with us in person. And welcome to those of you who are online. Thank you for staying home and worshiping online, especially if you don't feel safe being out in the snow or walking on the ice. Um, we're really glad that you're able to join us this way as well. So thank you however you are here. Um, if you're online, I invite you to take a moment to say hello in the chat. Karen Nilsson is our online greeter, and she'll be there to welcome you to worship this morning. Um, a special welcome to guests and visitors who are here with us. Just a note about our worship space. We have one restroom in this unit, but also two restrooms next door in the Arthur Murray Dance Studio that are available for your use. And those doors are open, and you can come and go between those two units. Um, so uh, use those as you will. Um, I have an outreach announcement that Carol left for me. Um, and this is our outreach announcement. It's about the blessing bags that we are uh, creating for the Help and Hope Center. Carol says that 10 food and 10 toiletry bags were assembled last Sunday and delivered to the Help and Hope Center. They'll be given out to people who are experiencing homelessness and others in need. So thank you to those of you who contributed to that and to Thrivent Financial for that grant money. Um, we're going to continue to make those bags, and so we're going to be assembling more toiletry bags after worship on March 13th and the 27th, if we have enough stuff. Um, and you can help out by bringing hotel-sized shampoo, conditioner, lotion, soaps um, with you, and there's a container over there that you can leave them in, and we will put those in the blessing bags. Um, if you also would like to make a cash donation, you can do that. Um, you can write a check to Blessing Bags in the memo line or, um, or click that tab on the Well of Hope Church Support Our Ministry, choosing Blessing Bags from the drop-down menu. Um, also, um, for the Sundays in March, we're having Undies Sundays. Um, the Help and Hope Center has told us that they have an immediate need for men's underwear, particularly large and extra large sizes. So if you're out shopping and you see some underwear and you want to bring some underwear to church, we would really appreciate that. So we're going to be doing that um, all throughout the March. Um, all right, so that was our outreach announcement. Wanted to let you know that giving statements were sent out by email. So if you haven't received yours or if you'd like a hard copy, please let us know and we can get that to you. Um, and finally, today is the first Sunday of Lent, which means that we are going to be having Wednesday evening um, Lenten study, but we're going to be doing that on Zoom again this year with partners from area um, Episcopal and Lutheran churches. So there's four other churches that we're partnering with on Zoom. We're going to get together, and each week from 6.30 to 7.30, we're going to be um, talking about a different spiritual practice. And one clergy from each of the churches is going to be leading it each week. I'm leading the first week, and we're talking about fasting um, this Wednesday. So I'll be sending out an email with that link again and more information about it. Uh, but just so you know, that's coming up starting this Wednesday. Whew, that was a lot. I think those are all my announcements. I have one. Okay, Michael's got one. Yeah, so, so with, the f with this being the first Sunday of Lent, we've got a new liturgy today. Uh, the Kyrie is very familiar, but it does have some call and response. So uh, asking for very generous audi audience participation. Mm -hmm. So sing out nice, loud, and strong if you are familiar with that. Right. Along That's those notes, everything you need for <laughs> worship is in the bulletin, but will also be um, online or uh, on the uh, PowerPoints and online. So um, hopefully that will help you navigate worship. Okay, anything else? Then we'll take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds, and then we'll begin with our call to worship. Beloved God's chosen, put on as a garment, compassion, forgiveness, and goodness of heart. Above all, before all, let love be your raiment that binds into one every Call forth wisdom to dwell in you richly. Let peace rule your hearts, and that peace be of Christ 
and from the heart's chamber, beloved and holy, let singing thanksgiving to God ever Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who makes a way in the wilderness, who walks with us, and who guides us on our path. Amen. Amen. We have the practice of beginning our time together with confession and forgiveness, and that's especially appropriate during the season of Lent, which is a, a penitential season, a time when we turn away from the things that distract us from God and turn to God. So by the act of confession, let us return to God who is full of compassion. Most merciful God. We confess, we confess that, that we, we have, have wandered far from you. We have not trusted your promises. We have ignored your teaching. We have squandered our inheritance of grace. We have failed to recognize you in our midst. Have mercy on us. Forgive us and turn us again to you. Teach us to follow in your ways. Assure us again of your love and help us to love one another. Amen. Beloved in Christ, God gathers you under her wings of love. In Jesus' name, your sins are forgiven. Walk with God and live in love. Amen. We invite you to rise in body or spirit to join in singing our gathering hymn, Tree of Life and Awesome Mystery. We'll be singing verses 1, 3, and Lent 1. <laughs> Tree of life and awesome mystery, in your death we are reborn. Though you die in all of history, still you rise with every morn. Still you rise with every morn. Christ you lead and we shall follow, stumbling though our steps may grace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. I invite you to be seated. In peace, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the reign of God and for peace throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For your people here who have come to give you praise, for the strength to live your word, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, and defend us. prayer of the day. O oh Lord God, you led your people through the wilderness and brought them to the promised land. Guide us now so that following your son, we may walk safely through the wilderness of this world toward the life you alone can give. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
A reading from the Psalms. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall fall before you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under the foot. Those who love me, will de- I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. All right, I'd like to invite any children who are here or any children of God who are here that want to come up for the children's message to come on up. Miss Alyssa is going to lead that for us, and I'm going to try to get this mic closer because our online folks had a hard time hearing last time. So if you want to come on up and sit here, you're welcome to. If you want to listen from your seats, you're welcome to. Hi, Declan. So I want to see... How many things you can find that are purple today? Do you see anything purple? Oh, my papers are purple. Yeah. What else? Hmm. What else do you see that's purple? Oh, there's some purple over on that table. What else is purple? Ooh. What else do you see? Up there is purple. Look at. Look at Pastor Julie. <laughs> do, you, do you see it? Her stole is purple. Yeah, there's all sorts of purple in church today. Do you know why? It's because we're starting a new season in church called Lent. We're starting a season called Lent. And Lent is all about getting ready for Easter. We're getting our hearts and our minds and our church ready for Easter. Can you go like this? We're going to do a rhyme about that. Can you make a rhythm with me? I'll say it. You say it back. In Lent, we wait for 40 days. In Lent, we wait for 40 days. Learn about Jesus, fast and pray. Learn about Jesus, fast and pray. Easter Sunday will come soon. Easter Sunday will come soon. Jesus is alive and he loves you. Jesus is alive and he loves you. Good job. We're getting ourselves ready for Easter. I have two tools that are going to help us get ready for Easter. One is for at church. I've got some Easter eggs. And these Easter eggs, they don't have candy the inside they've got something special inside and we're gonna look at those at church all through Lent so I'm not gonna open them yet you gotta come back next week we're gonna look at one next week we're gonna do each week we're gonna look at those during Lent and then I have another tool to help you at home get ready for Lent come here let me show you Purple papers. You can take one with you. And you can take one with you. That's, you're welcome. Let's pray before we go. Okay. Hold your hands. I'll, I'll say the prayer. You pray it back to God. Dear God. Dear God. God thank you for Lent. Thank, thank you, you for Lent. Lent. To learn about Jesus. To, to learn, learn about, about Jesus. Jesus. Help our hearts. Help, Help our, our hearts. hearts. Get ready. Get, Get ready. ready. For Easter. For, for Easter. Easter. Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming up. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Miss Alyssa. All right, and for those of you that are online and can't see the message, this is the paper chain that Miss Alyssa was sharing with our kiddos. And um, I'm gonna include a PDF of this in the email that I'm gonna send out with kind of the Lenten information. 
And if you would like to print this off and make yourself a Lenten paper chain, um, give it to your kids or your grandkids or use it yourself or pass it along to someone, uh, you'll have that resource in an email. Okay. All right. Now please rise for our gospel acclamation. Nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God. Nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God. This is the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become a loaf of bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all of the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I will give it to anyone I please. If you, then, will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus the Christ. In 2018, Marvel Studios released a film called Avengers Infinity War. And I'm totally going to spoil that film for you right now, but you have had four years to watch it, so I only feel a little bit bad about doing that. But in this movie, nearly all of Marvel's superheroes come together to prevent a villain named Thanos from destroying half of all life in the universe. And here's the spoiler. Even though these are the superest of all the superheroes, they're not successful. Thanos is able to harness the power of these magical stones called infinity stones in a special glove. And at the end of the movie, Thanos snaps his fingers and half of all living beings in the universe turn to dust. Remember, you are dust and to dust you shall return. It was one of the most surprising moving endings that I have ever seen. There was no happy ending. There was no redemption. There was just dust. But then, in 2019, Marvel Studios released another film called Avengers Endgame, which I am also going to spoil for you now. But in the movie, the superheroes who did not turn to dust reunited in an attempt to undo Thanos' destruction. By bending time and flying through space and doing something that I didn't understand with quantum physics, they are able to get it done. And they bring back everyone who had disappeared except five years had passed between the snap and its undoing. And the world that the people returned to was not the same world that they had known before. It had changed, and they were going to have to change too in order to fit back into it. From that point forward, characters in the Marvel Universe refer to the snap. They talk about life as it was before and life as it was after. I sat down to write this sermon on March 4th of 2022. And I want to share a picture uh, with you that I took in this room on March 4th of 2020. In this picture, members of our community were gathered for a Lenten soup supper. I remember this so vividly because Rick Verson introduced me to Cosmic Crisp Apples, which are delicious. Remember that conversation? And we were also talking about this strange new virus that we were hearing about in the news. We were starting to wonder if maybe or not it was a good idea to keep getting together for Lenten soup suppers, and we all decided it's fine. 
this isn't going to be a big deal. <laughs> Turns out it was a pretty big deal. March 13th of 2020 felt kind of like the snap because everything changed after that. You can take off Lexi. Two years later now, it feels like we have almost come full circle. Here we are again in our worship space together during the season of Lent. But like in Endgame, the world that we have come back to is not the same world that we left. And we're not the same people either. The season of Lent is a 40-day period of time in the church year when we focus on spiritual renewal and preparation for the season of Easter. A reoccurring theme in Lent is that of the wilderness. Scripture is full of stories about wilderness times where the people of God wrestle with fear and doubt, where they face temptations and trials, where they wander around lost, sometimes for a really long time. At one point or another, we all find ourselves in the wilderness. For some of us, the wilderness experience might look like a sudden illness or a chronic illness. For others, it might be linked to unexpected transitions like a divorce or the loss of a job. Or maybe it's related to the changing seasons of our life. Some of us might choose wilderness times. We might seek it out when we're intentionally discerning something. Or the wilderness may catch us completely unaware. Wilderness times can be communal, as they have been the last two years, or they can be intensely private as well. They can be short-lived, or it can feel like we're in the wilderness forever. While wilderness times are never easy, they can be times of transformation and growth. The Gospel text for the first Sunday of Lent is always a story about wilderness. Specifically, it's the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. This year we read about it from the Gospel of Luke that tells us that Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Spirit where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. In that wilderness time, Jesus wrestles with questions of identity and purpose and power. He resists the devil's temptations and he refuses the devil's lies. He leans into his faith in God and puts his trust entirely into God. When Jesus emerges from the wilderness, our text says that he is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. He's clear about his identity and his call. He's confident about his ability to overcome the power of sin, and he is ready to be a force of life and love in the world. I think it's fair to think about these last two years as a wilderness experience. The pandemic time changed us, individually and collectively, but not all in bad ways. Our forced fast from the joy of community taught us how precious it is to be together. It also gave us new and different tools for connection, some of which you are using right now to worship together with us online. It reminded us that communal worship and singing and eating and drinking together and praying and praising and weeping together, that those things matter very much. It helped us see anew the beauty of each other's faces and to appreciate the power of touch. I think, I hope, that we have emerged from this wilderness time wiser and more resilient and more compassionate. Now the season of Lent invites us again into a different wilderness. Over the course of the next 40 days, we are asked to reflect on our identity as beloved children of God, to take stock of our priorities, to face our fears, to wrestle with temptation, and to ultimately turn or return to God. The world's not the same place that it was in the before times, and we're not the same people either. And for that reason, this Lenten Jersey journey might feel different than the ones before. But some things remain the same no matter what changes around us. We are each beloved children of God, sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. We are each called to love God, serve God, love all, serve all. And we are each the heart, hands, feet, and voice of Jesus in this world. So sisters and brothers, I wish you a blessed Lent. May your experience in the wilderness be holy. May you see God as a refuge and a fortress in times of trouble or fear. May you face trial and temptation with courage and faith. And may you be transformed in the most beautiful ways. 
When we emerge from the tomb together on Easter morning, the world may very well look different again, as it should, because then we'll be seeing it through the eyes of resurrection, and it will be our turn to be a force of love and life in this world. We may not be the superest of superheroes, but we are Jesus people, Easter people, and that is enough, especially when we're in the wilderness. Thanks be to God. Amen. We invite you to rise to join in singing our song of the day, When We Are Tested. When we are tested and wrestle alone, famished for bread when the world offers stone, nourish us, God, by your word and your way, food that sustains us by night and by day. When in the desert we cry for relief, bleeding for paths marked by certain belief, lift us to love you beyond sign and test, trusting your presence, our only truth. When we are tempted to barter our souls, trading the truth for the power to control, teach us to worship and praise only you, seeking your will in the work that we do. When we have struggled, and searched through the night, sorting and sifting the wrong from the right. Savior, surround us with circles of care, angels of healing, of hope and of prayer. Please be seated. Our prayers of the people. Drawing close to God, we offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all those who are in need. Holy God, we pray for the church. Guide it through the wilderness of uncertainty and change. Be with our bishops Elizabeth and Jim, and with all outdoor ministries, including Sky Ranch and Rainbow Trail. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for the earth and all of its creatures. Protect wilderness places and all plant and animal species that call them home. Make us better caretakers of the wild places. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Mighty God, we pray for the nations of the world. Lead us out of the wilderness of war. Bring peace and prosperity to all. In the war in Ukraine and quiet conflict around the globe. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Compassionate God, we pray for those in the wilderness of need. Rescue those experiencing mental health illness or contending with addiction. Command your angels concerned all who are sick. We pray especially for Kennedy, Jean, Sandy, Rod, Taven, Carol, John and Lillian, Tempe, Warren, and those we now name aloud or in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Welcoming God, we pray for this assembly. Bless those who bake bread and prepare the table for communion. Open us to hospitality and service in all aspects of our life. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Eternal God, we give thanks for those who have died. Gather them with all the saints into your heavenly dwelling place. Encourage us with the promise that all who call upon your name are saved. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O God, for a world in need in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. I invite you to stand now and share a sign of God's peace with one another, however you feel comfortable doing so. All right, once you've had a chance to uh, share a sign of peace, I invite you to return your seats. Our worship will continue with our time of offering. We'll be taking um, an offering in person with baskets that Jeff Hatcher is going to start passing out when he starts paying attention to me. <laughs> Jeff, offering baskets. <laughs> um, also, you can make an offering online. I can mail it in. We also have a white box in the entryway you could drop an offering into if you don't want to pass the basket. All right, thank you. Um. worship continues with our offering prayer. Abundant God, you walk with us in the wilderness, and you guide us on the journey. Nourish us with this meal and prepare us to carry your love to a hungry world. In the name of Jesus Christ, our light. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. You call your people to cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that renewed in the gift of baptism, we may come to the fullness of your grace. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn.
In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembering, uh, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For those is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. One of the things we need to get through wilderness times is sustenance. And in this meal, we get God's love and grace as such. Everyone is invited to receive these gifts at this table. We say every week in this congregation, you don't need to be a member of this congregation, and you don't need to be a Lutheran. These are God's gifts for all of God's people, and that is you. So please eat and drink, because the gifts of God are free. free. I'll begin by communing those folks who are at home, and then we invite you to come forward and receive communion. We have regular and gluten-free options. There's also pre-sealed communion with juice in it. If you'd prefer to bring these back to your seat and commune um, at your seat with the sealed communion. Um, so if you're at home, I begin by saying, this is the body of Christ broken for you, and this is the blood of Christ shed for you. I invite you to come. There's also hand sanitizer if you'd like it. Can you wash your hands?
No, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and keep you. You are forever in God's grace. Amen. Amen. Blessed Jesus, in this meal of grace, you have fed us with your very self, the bread of life. Now send us forth to bear your life-giving hope in a world in need. Let us love God, serve God. Love all, serve all. Now receive this benediction. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord abiding in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen. Amen. We invite you to rise in body or spirit to join in singing our sending hymn, Go to the World. We'll be singing verses 1 through 3 today. sends us on our way. Thank you so much for joining us for worship, both in person and online. If you're online, we saw that request for a bulletin that's accessible for you guys, so we'll figure out how to make that happen. Um, children, Youth, and Family Ministry Team meeting after worship today. Um, watch an email for Lenten stuff coming out, and I think that's it. So uh, Ron's going to send us on our way. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.